Welcome back, my duelist friends. Casual duelist here again. Happy Tuesday. And today's deck is going to be a little bit different for Common Charity. It's uh, it's a little incomplete. Uh, some of the cards I ordered never showed up. Um, so I may do, but I'll tell you like the cards that are missing, and you guys can make your own decisions of what to tech out. So real quick, it's Harpy Ladies, because yes, and Celestial did, of course, bully me into doing this, which is fine. But let's get you guys that list. So first off, we're going to start off with three dancers and three harpist. Uh, no performer or sorry, perfumers or oracles, because again, they do not fit the common charity scheme here. So we're basically going to maximize every harpy name that we do have access to. Uh, personally, I like using three number ones uh, for the field power up. I feel like it helps you get a little more aggressive. Three queens, a field searcher slash power card. And as my off tech, I'm using two copies of Miss Valley Soldier. Um, it's good. It's still going to be Wing Beast. It adds a tuner, maintains the rank four plays that you're going to have, and gives you, like I said, the ability to play some synchros. Uh, but not a huge monster board this time around. And you, I think you'll see why once we get into the spells. So go ahead, take your screenshot or make your notes, and I'll go ahead and clean up the field for you. All right, so spells. Spells are actually a big part of this build. Uh, we are going to be using two copies of the Alluring Mirror Split. It's just pretty good. Uh, two's fine. Uh, three copies Elegant Egotist. Let's see if the camera goes back to focus. There we go. It was a little odd. Um, three, again, perfect here. Uh, Harpy Lady, a Phoenix Formation. I'm running three right now. You can back off to two later. Uh, this would be a fine place to do that. Uh, two copies Feather Rest. Uh, again, three felt too many for this build, um, but it is just a way of cycling things back. Uh, two Hunting Ground. Again, I didn't maximize the field spell because a lot of the time we are going to end up running against our own cards. And rather than uh, just playing the field spell at max to play it, um, this felt right. Three copies Hysteric Sign, and this is another one that could go down to two later. Um, go ahead and play this at three. Single copy of Instant Fusion, single copy of Monster Reborn, and as a treat tech today, I'm going to be playing a single copy of Swallow's Nest. Um, and this was actually really kind of the most fun I've I've had in a while playing a, a card. So uh, go ahead, make your notes, do the screenshot, whatever it is that you guys do, and real quick, I will clean that up. All right, now that we got that cleaned up, we got traps, and traps are going to go a little heavy. Uh, we are going to be using eight copies of tra or eight traps today. Um, first up is going to be the Harpy Feather Storm at two. This is one of the cards that didn't make it. Um, just simply, again, um, it's good. It lets us basically tell the opponent they lose a turn. Uh, we're going to use three copies of Hysteric Party. That's awesome. And then three copies Icarus Attack. And again, you guys could bounce Icarus down one. Um, and you guys could add in things like the barrier statues that didn't show up. Um, because that would have also been pretty fun to just have a little soft lock. Um, not too much going on here, so I won't pause and do any, like, editing magic. Um, just go ahead, we'll take that, get that off the screen. Uh, resort it because that's what I do off to the side. And we'll go ahead and get you guys into that extra deck real quick. So, of course, we had that instant fusion. You're going to need your target. It's going to be our Thousand Eyes Restrict. Um, as, far as, as far as our synchros go right now, my best eight is playing Red Dragon Arc Fiend. So, again, that's my one of there. Going into our Xyz plays, I am going to retain my Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon. I'm going to retain my Vespinato, my Time Thief Redoer, and, of course, my Tornado Dragon. Um, this is just a very good, like, rank 4 package. And again, I know that the Vespinato is a quick 5. If you guys haven't been following my uh, my common charity videos, you may not know that this guy operates on the ability of being able to Xyz Evolve off of a rank 4. Um, so that actually makes him kind of amazing. Let me kind of push everybody up. And let's go ahead and get into our links. Uh, we're going to run the single barricade board blocker. And before you say anything, I know, guys, but... When I go over the effect, I'll explain it. It'll make a lot more sense. Uh, the single bore load, because again, big guy. Uh, gravity controller as an out for our Thousand Eyes Restrict. Two conductors, because again, this fits into our theming. Single link Karibo, another out for our Thousand Eyes Restrict. The single steel star regulator, very easy to make in this build too. 
the single triple burst dragon and the single underclock taker. So again, a lot of the extra deck focused on more combat than uh, being like a, a bunch of negate plays. But that's fine. It's common charity. A lot of the big negate plays are actually not available to us here. So if you guys were just here for the deck list, you know, thanks for stopping by. It means a whole lot. Um, I do hope that you guys will check out the, like, the little test hand thing. I'm going to try to show some of the combo and interactions. Um, but honestly, this is a deck that really needs more than one turn to set up. So I'm just going to show you guys a couple of the interactions rather than do actual test hands. Because uh, we, would need a, we would need another turn altogether. And I don't want to bore you guys to death. So there's that. Um, real quick, I'm going to get this cleaned up. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. If you guys would like to support the channel... Do consider hitting the subscribe button if you haven't done that already. If you have done that, thank you. And then also just, you know, keep visiting us. Just keep coming back. Keep checking it out. And uh, we'll see you guys later. You guys have a great day. Everybody else, let's go over the card effects here real quick. And again, it's Harpies. So believe it or not, these effects aren't that long-winded. Get it? Long wind? Wind? Wind attribute? Okay, I'll shut up. Um, we're going to start off with the Harpy Dancer. Uh, this effect states uh, you can target one wind monster that you control, return it to your hand, then you can normal summon one wind monster. So you bounce and resummon whatever card you want. You can use the effect of Harpy Dancer once per turn. This card's name becomes Harpy Lady while on field or graveyard. So again, this is going to help us out quite a bit later. The Harpist, two effects, name becomes Harpy Lady on field and grave. can only use each of the following effects once per turn. First effect, when it's normal summon, you can target one other winged beast monster you control. And one face-up monster your opponent controls and return both of those to the hand. So this works well in combination with the previous card. You play the da you play the dancer, bounce the harpist, then normal summon the harpist, then bounce the dancer in your opponent's card real quick. It's a very cute little combination. Um, and again, it bounces both cards back to the hand. Uh, second effect, during the end phase, if this is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you may add one level 4 winged beast monster with 1,500 or less from deck to hand. And again, this is going to let you get just about any other Harpy except Queen. Um, because again, the Harpist is 15 and the Queen is 19. So, there's that. Harpy Lady 1. Always treat this Harpy Lady. And this includes when you're doing deck building. Uh, which is why we did not include the Cyber Harpy Lady. Because again, this is also always considered to be Harpy Lady. So is 2, so is 3, and so is the normal effect, mo or sorry, the normal non-effect monster Harpy Lady. Um... And, and this one just says all wind monsters gain 300. So again, you can stack this effect by having multiple copies of this character on the field. You can get up to a 900 point bonus off these guys. Very good. Uh, Harpy Queen, two things. It becomes Harpy Lady while on field grave. Or we could discard it from the uh, hand to the discard pile in order to add Harpy's Hunting Ground from deck to the hand. So very much like Arima was for our layer of darkness uh, is what the Queen will do for us here. Uh, the Mist Valley Soldier. At the end of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster that was not destroyed, return the opponent's monster to the hand. However, Miss Valley Soldier must remain on the field in order to activate and resolve this effect. So if you suicide into, like, Blue Eyes or whatever, you take your 1300, you're not going to get the bounce. So use this effect a little smarter. Uh, definitely go after, like, big defenses if that happens to you. Um, that's good. Mainly, he's in here for a decent power level. Uh, rank or Level 4 for the rank 4 plays. And again... He is a tuner, so we can synchro into our Red Dragon Arg Fiend. So, very cool there. Going into the spells again, we have the Alluring Mirror Split, one of the continuous spells of the Harpies. This states, when a Harpy Lady or Sisters that I control is destroyed by battle, I may special summon a Harpy Lady monster from the deck with a different original name than a destroyed monster. Uh, if this card you control is destroyed by a Harpy card's effect or an opponent's card effect, target a Harpy monster in the graveyard and special summon it. Each effect once per turn. So again, um, we can get some battle replays out of this. Or more than likely, we're going to reborn something with it. So that's the purpose there. Egotist allows us to either duplicate a Harpy Lady or Sisters from hand or deck. Um, so again, this is going to be how I'm going to play out my uh, number ones. Uh, the Harpy Lady Phoenix Formation. If I control three or more Harpy Lady and or Sisters... Target as many monsters as the opponent controls as possible, but not more than the total number of Harpy Lady and Lady Sisters that I control. So if I control just the three, I can choose up to three cards that the opponent has, uh, monster-wise. Uh, destroy those targets if you do. Inflict damage to the opponent equal to the highest original attack amongst them. Your choice if tied. 
Uh, you cannot special summon monsters from the main or extra, nor conduct your battle phase the turn you activate this. So this will activate your battle phase. So again, we went three. We leaned into this pretty hard. Uh, but again, we didn't have our uh, barrier statue, the storm winds, in order to cover for that last card. So kind of leaned into it, went for it, figured the control was worth it. The two feather rests target up to, uh, sorry, target three Harpy Lady and or Sisters in Grave. Shuffle them back, draw a card. If you control a level five or higher Harpy, when activated, draw two instead. Uh, so it's going to act like a um, like par partial Pot of Avarice. Um, for the rest of the turn after this card resolves, you can have special summon except wind. And you can only activate one of these per turn. So again, Feather Rest, not terrible. Uh, Hunting Ground, uh, all winged beasts gain 200 attack defense. And if any Harpy Lady or Sisters is normal slash special summoned, the player conducting the summon gets to target, sorry, forcibly targets a spell or trap on the field and destroys that target. So again, kind of went with two because again, this is kind of useful. You may see more traps in a common charity duel than you do in a master game duel. Um, so again, it's kind of fun for now. Uh, three Hysteric Signs. Uh, when this card is activated, we can add one Elegant Egotist from the deck or the graveyard to the hand. During the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there from the hand or field this turn, add up to three Harpies with different names from each other from the deck to your hand. You may only use one effect per turn and only once that turn. So again, kind of pick and choose. If you know you're going to blow it up, just set it, watch it blow up, and then you'll get your tutor at the end of the turn. Or play it, get your Egotist now, and then move forward that way. Uh, your Instant Fusion again, pay the 1,000 life points. Uh, special Summon is a Fusion Summon, one level 5 or lower, so play out your Relinquished. Uh, that monster can't attack or... Uh, no, just can't attack that turn and is destroyed during the end phase. So, cool. Reborn, very simple. This is just going to be an extender. Go ahead and bring something back. Swallow's Nest, very fun. Just kind of threw this in for a goof today. Uh, tribute one face-up wing beast monster to special summon one wing beast from the deck. Same level uh, as the tribute monster had on the field. So again, this was another way that we could have gotten into our barrier statue. Um, but this is another way that you could get rid of the barrier statue and go into another wind type for yourself. Um, and it was, it was just fun. Uh, you could also press additional attacks doing that. Whatever you like. Uh, the the Harvey's Feather Storms. Uh, you control a winged beast, uh, wind, winged beast monster, sorry, till the end of the turn to get any monster effects your opponent activates. If you control a harpy monster, however, you can activate this from your hand. Uh, this card in its, in its owner's spell trap zone is destroyed by an opponent's card effect. You can add a feather duster from deck or graveyard to hand. Not going to be applicable right now, uh, in common charity, but definitely in the master game. And again, one of the things the harpy's feather storm is really going to let you do is it's going to be a hand trap trap in a harpy deck but still tech in any wind wing beast deck so again mist valley uh and even some org builds can use this going into the hysteric party it's actually a pretty fun trap card activate this by discarding a card then special summon as many copies of harpy lady from the graveyard as possible when this phase sub card leaves the field destroy those monsters so again this is another little thing that we destroy with the uh, RP's Hunting Ground, and we could just go into a huge Link Summon play that round off the Hysteric Party. So, pretty cool, actually. And then Icarus Attack. Uh, by tributing a Winged Beast monster on your side of the field, destroy two monsters, or uh, sorry, two cards on the field. So, Tribute 1, Pop 2. Very good. It's a 2 for 2. Pretty good. Uh, the Extra Deck, I think you guys knew Restrict, so I'm going to go ahead and skip him. Uh, Red Dragon Arc Fiend, we don't use him too often outside of this, so uh, it's going to be a level 8. After damage calculation, if this at has attacked a defense position monster the opponent controls, destroy all defense monsters your opponent controls. During the end phase, destroy all other monsters you control that did not declare an attack this turn. This card must be face up on the field to activate and resolve that effect. Uh, Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon, uh, double rank 4. Uh, you can detach both materials from this. Target one face up monster the opponent controls. It loses half of its attack, and this gains the attack loss from the opponent's monster, much like the spell Riroku. Vespinato is going to be one of those cards that can inflict piercing uh, when we step up off of a rank 4. Uh, do, 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 do. If this Xyz summon card in its owner's control is destroyed by an opponent's card, target a level 5 or lower monster in your graveyard, special summon it. So again, we do get a special summon generically in this deck, which is good. 
Uh, Time Thief Redoer really messes with the top of the opponent's deck. Gets effects base, based on the types of material that you detach from it. If you detach a monster, then it banishes itself uh, until the end phase. Of course, this will lose its materials. Uh, if you banish a spell, and again, you do this by grabbing cards off the top of the opponent's deck once per turn, uh, then you can draw a card if it's a trap. You can place one face of card your opponent controls on the top of the deck, which means, again, we could top their uh, field spell, and then we can use our effect to then take their field spell and put it underneath our Time Thief. Tornado Dragon, Double Walking MST. Everybody knows that. Barricade Board Blocker. I promised to explain this. Let's explain it. Normally, you use this to protect your field spell, but this isn't going to protect any of our spells because it's going to be our own effect destroying it. What we want is... If this is Link Summoned, you can discard a card during the end phase of this turn, add a continuous spell or field spell from the graveyard to the hand. And again, this helps me justify running only two copies of the field spell because we can go ahead and reverse tutor that back out of our discard pile. Uh, so big props there. And of course, our continuous spells like the Hysteric Sign, uh, stuff like that, Hysteric Party, uh, we can use those again. Um, once per turn, your colors, yeah, face up spells you control cannot be destroyed by opponent card effects. All good. We're using them for the first ability to go ahead and cycle cards to recycle. Uh, Boral Loads can help you punch over. Gravity Controller, Neo Space, and Grand Mole for the extra zone. Uh, Harpy Conductor to Wind. So, again, just about anything in our main deck. Uh, this name, of course, becomes Harpy Lady Wall Field or Grave. Use each effect once per turn. Effect one if a Harpy Monster Monsters you control will be destroyed by Battle of Card Effect. You may destroy one spell trap you control instead. So again, we can walk through dark holes. Um, and secondly, if another face-up Harpy monster you control returns to your hand, except during the damage step, you can special summon one monster your opponent controls. Sorry, wow, I, I misread that. If another face-up Harpy you control returns to your hand, you can target one special summoned monster your opponent controls, return that to the hand. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Link Karibo, you guys know him. Steel Star Regulator, you ought to know that he's going to gain effect. Uh, sorry, gain attack equal to the combined level and rank of monsters used for him. Uh, you can target a non-Link monster. The opponent controls with an attack less than to equal to this. Destroy it. Then if this was Link summoned using an Xyz monster's material, inflict damage to the opponent equal to half that original attack. And you can only use this effect once per turn. So again... Uh, that's going to be awesome. Triple Burst Dragon for the damage step stuff and cl under Clock Taker just to help weaken some things to go ahead and punch over for possible game. Uh, he was always one of my favorite generics. And uh, again, just since we can use him here in the common charity, loving it all over again. So that is the Harpy deck for common charity. And tomorrow I'm going to go over some of the interactions for you guys. Hopefully that one's a little bit shorter. And uh, we'll get that done for you. So, guys, again, do all of the things. But most importantly, go out there and do something for yourself today and enjoy it, okay? I uh, hope to see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you later. Peace, my friends.